guys and welcome back to Memphis. As you can see, today I'm by myself because in the video, I mean, you have seen from the title, has nothing to do with uh, Ale at all. So this is about how to grow long, healthy Afro hair. And we are talking about 4C hair because it's my hair type. And I'm going to share with you just step by steps, really what kind of steps or what do I follow to make sure that my hair is healthy and it's growing. As you can see, let me just start there. I have 4C hair, you, I, I think you can tell. And my hair is quite healthy. Like I don't use any product to lay my edges or anything like that. And you can see the edge is not damaged, very full also at the back. So number one is moisture, moisture and moisture. How do I maintain and how do I moisturize my hair? For me, two important things. Water, I make sure that I wash my hair as often as possible between a week to every two weeks, depending on my style and the length of the hair. When I have hair like this, this is not too long because I just cut my hair not so long ago. Because the hair is short, the styling takes a little bit more time. So I wash this every second week. When I my hair is long enough that I can put it in a two strand twist or in three strand twist. I wash my hair pretty much every single week. Why? Because when I have my hair like that, I can also wash it in twists and it's very nice, easy and simple. The second way how I maintain moisture is shea butter. All day, every day, all day, every day. I'm also going to leave a link up here for the video how, how do I prepare this for my hair. Now this shea butter, it's like uh, I made it at home and mixed it up with uh, marula oil and some other ingredient, not a lot. I use this for my body and my hair and it's very simple. So since I use it for body and hair, simple, simple, simple. Every morning, every evening, or if I have my hair out, I'm also going to apply that. Most, I would say for me, the two most important way of, to moisturize my hair is obviously water so by washing or by spraying every now and then when you have twist and then shea butter and then some oil to make sure that i seal in that moisture but just the moisturizing itself i get from shea butter and water second thing is trim trim and trim girls ladies you need to trim your hair now this is i think uh, it's kind of contradicting oh my goodness i need to, i want to grow my hair fast why do i need to trim it because if your hair is not growing fast you probably feel like uh, it's already growing very slow and then every time you're cutting off that probably that little growth i think it's best especially when it comes to maintaining healthy hair because those edges sometimes create a lot of tangles and I don't want that. For hair to be healthy, I also need to not to do a lot of excessive detangling. When you come to combing, everything is going to go simple and straightforward. So trimming is important. And I just feel like, the, to be honest, the hair look healthier if you're also combing your hair in a straight afro. It just look very healthy and even. Now, wedding comes to uh, i'm just slowly going to do this so i can show you also another product that i use another another step number three that i think is very 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 important when it comes to how i grow my hair fast is hair growth oil i, I have two kinds of oil that i really like on my hair and they are both homemade hair growth oil i just one second i need to pick up the other one so, uh, this is how long my hair is at the moment. It's a pity, I can't really show you very well. And you know, you can also just detangle with the thing, but wait. So when it comes to hair oil, this is my go-to. Like every single time I want to apply oil to my hair, especially after every wash or when I just want to seal in the moisture, this is what I use. It's like uh, something that I prepare myself at home, mainly olive oil infused with some some stuff. Uh, I don't know, I'll probably show you if I get a chance to, but now I have like, I don't know, 500 ml of this, so it's gonna take a while until it's finished for me to prepare another one. For this, I would 
either can you see I'd have a very small tip here that you can just you know so you can either just apply directly on the scalp like this to make sure that your scalp is not dry and when you are doing that you have to be very careful that you don't apply excessive oil to your skin now if you do that in my opinion that just clog your pores and then it will then go because your skin is not breathing there's no blood circulation it's just not a healthy process so if you if you if you was afraid that this might clog your pores then apply a little bit on your hands or like apply a little bit just like this and then do this with uh, like your fingers if you want to go the more conscious way then use your hand to make sure that your scalps remain healthy and they are not clogged when it comes to applying oil to your hair you have to be careful and be mindful that this is not for moisturizing this is for growth and for sealing in the moisture so you you don't want your hair like you know like a fat cake just soaked in oil you don't want that it's i hate it when i touch somebody said my hands like at some point i also used to do it like that but now i don't do that i do mainly a lot of water i think it's moisturization and a little bit of oil just to seal in the moisture and also for my scalp just to make sure that my scalp are not dry and especially when it comes to hair growth oil to sit to stimulate that growth that i'm looking for now Another thing that I use, but this depends on the availability because I don't know how to make this by myself. If you're Namibian, especially from the northern part of the country, maybe you know what this is. Um, this is a Mbeke oil, like 100% original Mbeke oil that was just produced at the village. It's only produced by grannies at the village. You can't get this in the supermarket. That's why I only use it when I get it either for my granny or for my friend's granny who also know how to make this. And my friend gave me this one, especially this one that I'm using at the moment. Now, Mbeke oil is very strong. The smell is very, 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 very strong. Because of that, I don't use a lot you can also use this the same way you would use the other oil apply a little bit on your scalp just like this but to be honest when it comes to a baker oil I'm very very cautious I would never just pour it directly on my scalp because I think this is very thick and the smell is very strong you don't want to apply so much on your hair especially if you're going and you're going to go out so no not so much it's also smoked. I don't know. I, I don't know how this is produced. I've never seen it produced before. The smell is very strong and this smell you can't there's nothing you can do to the oil to, to remove it. But it's absolutely amazing for hair growth. Especially my back in the day, my granny, I don't have a picture of her. Maybe if I find one I will add. He has also a very nice white afro. You know, back in the day they used to add a lot of clay to wash the afro, which is also now coming back in fashion. And my granny would say this is the most amazing thing for the hair Anyways, the last the last step for hair growth which i think is very important and i want to share with you is just learn how to detangle i would say learn how to detangle your hair in the right way it's difficult for me to demonstrate this when ali's not at home helping me with the camera if you can see i don't know how much you can see there's like a knot here at the end a strand what i would do most of the time i just do this by hand and in the end you have straight hair without using a comb at all because i think the comb ah oh, it's very painful i'm very very sensitive to pain <laughs> very sensitive so anything that's painful, out, out. And I think the comb is, I tend not to use it as often as I'm supposed to because I think it's painful. So I would prefer to detangle my hair using my hands. If you are um, somebody who like to use a comb, 
I would recommend you take something like this. Like you want something that's big and white like this. You don't want a fine comb because you just want for the afro. I think any afro, but especially 4C, don't even try. Even this is difficult to go through my hair, but I don't think this is the best, but this is already good. If you want the best, take the one with the wires. There's also a certain afro that has uh, wires and that I think is the best. So make sure you're using this in the right way. What do I mean by that? Hold your hair like this, so you don't add, you don't have to feel so much pain. Hold your hair like this, then just comb little by little first from the edges, first from the edges. If you want also spray a little bit of water, but my hair is very moisturized, it's fine for a little bit. You see how many times I have to go through this, even though I just use my finger to detangle it. And then yes, and then go through all the way once you see that it's not, it's not um, tangled anymore. And when I do this, for me, when I'm detangling my hair, can you see? Then in the end, you can go through. But I always try, I will never do this without holding the base, because there are always some knots that they just never get away. The point is, when, when, for me, I'm just trying to achieve manageable hair that I can put my hair in prison, anything like that. I'm not trying to achieve hair that is 100% straight or hair that is completely uh, not detangled at all. I can come through with anything. That's not what I'm looking for because I'll never achieve that. I'll, I'll never achieve that. Now, if I try, if I force myself to do that, by then I'll probably have lost all the hair on my head. And as for protective style, if you're somebody who like protective style, this is my go-to protective style. Just everything in the corn rolls. I usually, I would make two like this, which is the simplest. I do this on Monday morning. It takes like 15 minutes and I'm out of the house. And when I have time, I will make them four. That is the maximum I would go for. I would never want to have six. I think it's too much time. And when my hair is not... Um, the, it's at a better length, like when it's long, like I had it before. I only use either two strand single twist or three strand single twist. Otherwise, this is the best. Now, as you can see with my protection side, you don't see none of the edges are strained. Everything is super simple. The braid or the, the plate starts here. So the edges are free and relaxed and I think they are happy. There is no strain on the skin around the, the edges here that will pull out the hair and make my hair look unhealthy by the side. Yeah, I hope I've shared with you everything. Just to go through, you need to moisturize, you need to trim your hair, you need to use hair growth oil and then make sure that you are detangling or you are combing in the right way. If you're doing all that, depending on your hair type, and if you have hair type like mine, then I'm 100% sure you're going to have healthy hair. This is just a guideline, depending, I'm sharing with you what works on my hair, but I also know everybody has different kinds of hair in terms of texture, and um, just growth rate is also different from person to person. So, the most important thing, and I think the most important, important tip for everyone Define your hair type, know what works for you, try to explore a little bit different products, know what works for you and create a regimen that then that works for your hair and stick to that. If you enjoyed this video guys, give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you are new and most important guys, I want to hear from you in the comment section below. What are your tips? To grow healthy long afro hair I would love to learn I mean I would also love to learn considering that I do everything by myself at home I'm sure there are so many things out there that I still don't know about when it comes to hair growth yeah see you in my next video ciao ciao ciao